Hi guys, welcome to part two of my E3. E3, it's actually only 30 seconds since I stopped recording part one, so I haven't seen any of the comments from part one, even though it's probably gone live already and everybody's calling me a prick, but I don't care because I'm Mac and hey, who cares? Let's get on with it. We've got better games for you this time, even though I actually don't know that for sure. It sounds good and we'll keep you watching. Ooh, it's alpha footage. Captured in engine. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, we know this one, guys. This is Friday the 13th. This is Friday the 13th. Which sounded great on paper. Sounded amazing in Kickstarter. Sounded incredible on that little snippet we got of a video. But when you really look at the gameplay of this game, it is the biggest pile of bantha vomit that i think i've ever seen that's not that's not true that's totally over exaggerated but guys it looks fucking awful shall i tell you why shall i shall i i'll tell you why this game not only is it totally third person but jason jason you know jason Voorhees. remember jason Voorhees? yeah 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 the same the same the very man he has x-ray vision he has x-ray he has x-ray Jason's got extra vision! He's got it! He's got it! Yes, guys, he has an ability to see inside buildings from outside the buildings. It's an ability. It's a it's a cool ability, man! Yeah, Jason, yeah, Jason has this cool ability, man. You can see him using this cool ability, man. He can see through walls, man. He can see where the where the enemy is, man, where the where the campers are. He sees through the walls because if you've seen Friday the thirteenth part six thousand, he gets X ray vision and that's from an implant from alien beings. Well it's not just that, guys. It's not just that. No, no. Jason can also teleport. Yes, he can teleport. Jason, it's another cool feature. Cool feature too, man. We, we gave him X-ray vision, but we also gave Jason the ability to teleport around the map. Because we thought that would be good and enhance gameplay. Because the map's quite big and we don't want him, you know, just walking across the... What the f that? So, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, we have a an X-ray... Teleporting Jason. Yeah. But not only that, guys. You know when you look at this footage, doesn't it look false? Doesn't the room, the room, it doesn't it all look too clean? It looks, the graphics are shit. It looks, it looks like a game. It looks clean. It looks almost cartoony. It's, it's awful. I mean, when you look at Dead by Daylight, and you look at the graphics in that, they look more, ugh, fucking hell. You know, but this, it looks, it looks like I want to be on a farm. It looks like Farm Simulator 3. Now, granted, Farmer Giles doesn't get his farm hands and crush the heads in a door. But, you know, apart from that, you could quite easily see Jason being a farmer of crops in this game. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, I'll be reviewing this, but man... I'm probably gonna rape its face. How people can look at this and go, wow, this looks awesome. A teleporting x-ray vision to Jason. Yeah. We're pandering, we're pandering, aren't we? We're pandering again. Yes, that's what's going on here, guys. We're pandering to the little c**ts who have no f***ing skills. That's what we're doing. I don't wanna walk across the map. I wanna know where you are. I wanna be able to see through a wall. I like that, I like it. Oh, what's this, guys? Another Xbox game. F*** off. This is Forza Horizon 3. Now, that was a good game, Forza Horizon 2. Now, this is coming out on the PC. You'll be pleased to know. Obviously, you've got to buy the uh, Xbox One version first. <laughs> and that allows you to be able to download the PC version. Yeah. But anyway, it was quite... I mean, most driving games now are wank, as I showed in Need for Speed, which was just banter wank. Now... Forza Horizon 2 was good, but it was good because everything else is shit, you know? I still think Test Drive Unlimited 2 is the best one of these games ever made. There's an aerial atom, isn't it? Yeah, that's the aerial atom, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll just be dumbed down bullshit. It needs zombies. It just needs zombies. We need zombies. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. I think it might be good. I don't know. The jury's out on this one. Um, I, li I like me driving games. But they won't bring it out on the PC for everybody to play because they're too far up themselves. They're scared stiff in case somebody who owns a PlayStation buys it and has fun on it. 
because then none of the Microsoft employees will be able to sleep at night knowing that a PlayStation fan enjoyed playing their game. Yeah. See, it's stuff like that that just does nothing for me. All the Americans will be like, Whoa, where did you see that, man? Whoa! You know, it just does nothing for me. It's just, no. 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 But it might be good. It might be good. But, yeah. As if you take an Aventador. Is that an Aventador? Into the sea. Yeah. Next. That's the best so far, to be honest. Oh. Guys. Bethesda. It's Bethesda. Sorry, I'm just doing the shill. Um, yeah, this <laughs> this is Dishonored 2, I believe. Why is there an advert on the screen there? Get it off. Thanks. This is, I love Dishonored, but guys, I beg to report, I beg to report that this one looks shit. Just off this reveal, it just looks shit. I don't know why, it just, I've watched this trailer through and I just, I was kind of, oh no, oh, it just looks too contrived and bullshit, it just, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it, it's not what I kind of, I don't know what I wanted, I, I just, I don't know, it just, you know, look at it, look, look, look at it guys, look, are you looking, look at it, look, it just, is it just me? I just, I just, I just, I just, guys. I mean, what the fuck's that? And who are you, told Meg? And that ring will give you X-ray vision a bit. Mm, I mean, it might be good. I just. I don't, I, can you tell I have no faith in the gaming industry? I have no faith in them to deliver anything worthwhile anymore. They just screw up everything by adding unnecessary perks that ruin the game. And I don't know. It's all the slowing down bullshit and all that just to make it look cool. It just looks like a cinematic. It looks like Call of Dishonored to me. That's all this looks like. That's all I saw when I watched this the first time. Call of Dishonored. Um, and it's a shame but the jury's out this is just a trailer I mean you know but call of dishonored guys <sighs> yeah yeah next bring something good on I mean I just I was all hyped for dishonored too but uh, not anymore. it's depressing isn't it square enix oh my goodness what is this what is this I met the PR girl from Medias. Mm, it's very hot. Full of shit, but... Oh, this is do sex. This is do some sex. That's what this is. Now, I loved the first do sex. It was great. But that was because it was in the 90s, I think, and uh, we hadn't really, really, you know. Now, I don't know, the call of do sex. Everything's call of now. Just put call of in front of every game. I don't know. It just looks a bit... You just know it's going to have... You just know it's going to be a cover shooter with perks that give you x-ray vision. You just know it is. You just... Everything is, guys. Everything. Everything. Gaming's just all the same. Just put a different name on the box. But it's the same game. Ish. Welcome to hell. I don't know. There's the cover. There you go. And there's the shooter. There you go. It looks like it's a third and first person game. Oh, there's your X-ray vision! There's your X! There! There! there but I, I called it and I didn't know that was in because I haven't watched this through. I haven't watched this before. Oh, Mark. My, I'm so, I, I'm, I've got them all sussed. I have the whole f***ing gaming industry sussed. And all the fucking fanboys. I've got all you's lot sussed as well. So don't think I haven't. Mom! Mom, what is mom? Nah. Nah. Boo! Boo! 
We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. Do sex. Aha! This looks good. What's this? This looks good, guys. No idea what it is. Oh, it's still too sexy. Look, shit. Ew. <laughs> Next. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, yeah. This is, um, smash a zombie on your head. Totally scripted bullwank four, I think. Pretty sure that's the title of this one. Yeah, not impressed either. I thought this game was absolute piss. The third one. I did a review on it. Dead Rising. Dead Rising 4, that's what it is. Just, ugh. Clunky bullshit 4. With mini games dotted all around. The boss fights were awful. Just awful. Just, it was so kind of badly made, this game. The third one. You know, like, kill a few zombies, then all these bikers will come and ride round and round and bleh, 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 while you try and shoot them. I mean, fucking hell. It was hideous. Fucking hideous. And this one looks just as hideous. Ugh. Yeah. Boo! We've seen it all before, mate. Do you want us to sing the Seen It All Before song? I will. Don't make me. Don't fucking. Oh, fuck off with your selfie. Self. Hashtag fuck yourself. Oh. Oh, God. How can people who buys this shit? It's the same fucking game, man. Wake the fuck. Wake the fuck up. Next. Oh, God. Funcom. Huh. No Funcom. More like it. What are these got? What, what are you peddling now? Conan 10? It actually is Conan. I remember. This is a... Conan, I don't even know if it's an hour, I don't even know, I mean look at that, it's that, <clears throat> looks like they're walking through Angel Delight. Boom, survive, uh, I remember when uh, the MMO came out Conan, and everybody jumped on it and it was just awful, it was just awful, I only bought it for the breasts, it was just hideous. Absolutely build, yeah. Never chop down trees. Woo, never done this before. Never done any. Oh, chop rocks. Wow, such innovation. We've seen it all before. We've seen it all before. We've seen it. Why did developers keep churning out the same tripe? I mean, what is it? What is it? What is it? That was good. That was cool. Cut her in half. That was nice. I'll give you that. But we need. Come on, let's have some decent fucking games. Ah, Battlefield guys, this is Battlefield 1, um, so yeah, let's have a look at this, let's have a look, that's a tank, that's the old British tank, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. looks good mine, doesn't it, graphically, mm, has huge potential this guys, it really does, I'm a huge Battlefield fan, not the new shit, not, not the, not 3 and 4, to be honest, but 42 and the Road to Rome, man, they were just something else. I I, I own Battlefield 3. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. 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 No. 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 No, no, no. Fuck off. Ah, oh, they've done it, guys. It's Battlefield 3. It's... It, 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 it. Hold on, let's give it a chance, Mac. See, guys, you don't make Battlefield... You don't make Battlefield 1942 the best battle game ever. Quite simple. It was the maps. It was the way the layout of the maps were. You see, it wasn't just chaos. It wasn't just chaotic. Oh, there's the planes. Oh, they look soft with camel. They look awesome, don't they? they look awesome. Well, I hope they've um, 
For, oh my goodness, that was terrible. I haven't fixed the physics. In, in Battlefield 1942, your plane would crash and just remain totally intact. Like, like that. Like that. And I haven't fixed that. And as I was saying though, guys, um, the trouble with... What made, what made Battlefield 1942 an amazing game was that when the game started, you were miles away from the enemy. And you could choose to go off in your little groups of five or six or ten to take different objectives. And you would get to them and you would lay an ambush at this objective for the enemy to come. And you might have a guy in a building upstairs, a tank hiding behind a rock, other players hidden around the place. And then the enemy would come, you might hear a plane overhead, the enemy would come, and and you'd be like, shit, here they come, here they come, get ready guys, get ready, set up an ambush, then bam, and you'd have this fight over this area, you could call for reinforcements from your mates to come over in either bombers, or fighter support, or even more tank or jeep support, but what happened in the game was, it was all strategic fighting for areas. Now when I played Battlefield 3, I just didn't find any of that at all, it was just organized well disorganized chaos it was just people like like what you're seeing now you know just guys just running around he, he doesn't know where the enemy are the front behind back front uh, you know where you don't know because the whole map just descends into disorganized chaos it becomes call of duty just pew 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 pew, pew just x-ray vision guys <gasps> or is that just because he got shot i hope so but do you know what I'm saying? It, it just lacked that sense that you were in a war. And I just felt like I was in a game of, who's top of the leaderboard? Get top, get top. Oh, he killed us. Damn, spawn. Right, come on. Shoot, shoot. Pew, pew, pew. pew. God, I've got, got another kill. Pew, pew, pew. Got another kill. Pew, pew, pew. Got another kill. Oh, I'm climbing the leaderboard. I'm climbing. You know, which is not what Battlefield's about. And that's why they've all been... I mean, look at this. It's just totally... I mean, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. But we need to... The dev... Oh, the developers need to know what made Road to Rome and, and uh, 1942 so good. And it wasn't the graphics or the shooting or anything like that. It was the whole layout of the game which forced you to play it in a certain way, which was incredible. And I just think we've lost that in games now. Everything is just a, a perk-ridden pew-pew fest that's disorganized chaos where you just like leap into a map and just shoot the shit out of everything like star wars battlefront was you know like all the call of duties are like all the new battlefields are Ugh. what's this this isn't this isn't battlefield i mean it might be good i hope it is good i really do uh what the hell is this oh this looks more of a Oh, this is Armour. This is Armour 3 um, Apex. I've never played Armour 3. I played Operation Flashpoint and it's all its predecessors after that. Um, when they were, before they all kind of fell out with Codemasters and all the rest of it. Um, I got Armour 2, which I didn't like. I just bought it for the um, zombie mod, you know. Uh, it's the engine that's always plagued Bohemia's games. And uh, if they fixed it, then... Yeah, great, because they do make some pretty good good stuff. I mean, this does look good, mind. So there you go, guys. That is part two out the way. Next up, we have Quake. 